native Dutch government called the States General convened in Brussels following the Spanish fury. The two main orders of business were to drive out the unpaid Spanish soldiers and to reconcile with Holland and Zealand. The agreements were called the Pacification of Ghent. Prince William of Orange was invited to join the States General. It had been 10 years since he was last in the Dutch capital. An English ambassador present at the ceremonious return in September 1577 described the event as if the people were witnessing an angel descend from heaven. King Philip II offered the thorny position of Governor General to his half-brother, John of Austria. John of Austria was considered a hero to Christendom for commanding in the Battle of Volpinto, which destroyed the Ottoman Navy. Even with this reputation, the States General resolved they would not accept the new appointee unless the terms from the pacification of Ghent were agreed to. Two weeks after Orange arrived in the capital, a sympathetic politician coordinated the attainment of Archduke Matthias, a younger brother of the reigning emperor and nephew to Philip II. The politically inexperienced Matthias arrived in the Netherlands without first asking permission from either the Emperor or from Philip. The monarch outranked John of Austria and the youth accepted the job of Governor General for the Netherlands. Eventually being donned with the title the Prince's Clerk, the young royal, who enjoyed wearing antique armor, saw William as a father figure. Now that Orange was indirectly deciding policy, John of Austria was ousted from even the most pro-Spanish Dutch nobles. The vacuum of power had to be filled in the southwest now that the Spanish were gone, and so Orange accepted the title of Ruward, the protector of Brabant. Arscott, the politician who obtained Messias, accepted the title of Stadtholder of Flanders. When Arscott arrived in Ghent, the conservative statesman was shocked to see the influx of Calvinism. Less than two years earlier, a man was whipped for not doffing his hat during a church procession. Now, radical Calvinists had taken control. R. Scott flatly denied any new agreements that would influence the city. Jean van Hembois and nobleman Francois Rijhoff led factions in Ghent that were hampered by R. Scott's policies. In October 1577, Rijhoff asked Orange if he would support the arrest of leading Catholics in Ghent. William did not offer his support of the proposal, nor did he disapprove. Rijhoff figured the silence was a nod of approval and left Antwerp. The next night, Rijhoff and Hamboys arrested two bishops, nobles, and several city officials, including Stadtholder Arscott. 